Comedian is Mr. Ed Bailey. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Dr. Ed Bailey. Yeah! At that, be suspect every time, you know? I try to bring it from here, they be like, no, brother, it's a 90 degree. This is casual. <laughs> it's all right. You can tell they didn't know me. I'm just number three. He don't know who I am, right? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is Ed here? <laughs> That's right. I'm going through the same thing. It's Davon's farewell show. I don't know if it's Davon or Davin. I've been calling him Davin for two weeks. Nobody corrected me. I don't know a Davon with a mohawk. Come like, up. I don't know. This is looking like a dab. Am I wrong? He's got a, he's got an American Apparel hoodie on. That's a dabbing, right? He's got a Davon. Davon got a '95 Lexus with 22s on it, but the, but the, but the tint is chipping. You know what I mean? That's a Davon. Got an A U G H N in that name. Ain't no D A V O N. You know what I'm talking about? You're like shit. I ain't been going to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Cleveland jokes tonight. Yeah. yeah. I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> you hear that reaction? You never really know what you're gonna get when you say that. You know what I mean? Every time you say you're from Cleveland, they act like you just told them you got breast cancer. They be like, really? <laughs> oh my god. That must be terrible. How do you deal with that? Do you still have your access card? <laughs> we have ramen noodles here. I'm actually a 12 pack. It's crazy, you know, you know, in Cleveland, we've been struggling on the sports scene for some time, right? But it's some bullshit. Like, you know your teams are bad when there are no logos in the city. Like, we don't have not one logo. You ever pop in Madden and pick the Browns? All you see is that orange helmet. <laughs> Shit, I am not excited about this quarterback. <laughs> Trying to join a fantasy league, they won't let me choose my own players. Like, let me just handle this, brother. <laughs> Unless it's a fantasy league for money, then they excited to have you. Hey, let's get that up from Cleveland. You know how to lose. That's a free $20. Put that 20 in, we all win. Let's split that. It's crazy, man. Being from Cleveland, I think about being at home, man, a lot, you know. Anybody live with the girl? Relationships are on the downtrend. Don't nobody want that problem. Okay, and I understand. I live with my girl. It ain't sweet. You know how hard it is to live with a motherfucker? Two frustrated motherfuckers walking around a one-bedroom apartment just tight at each other? Getting mad over shit that don't matter? But you don't leave your shoes right at the front door? So you couldn't take them to the closet. Okay, you bullshit. You tell the little things get at you, right? Anybody ever been washing dishes and your mate bring that last bowl after you finish? You be ready to punch them over right in their chin. You knew I started these dishes 45 minutes ago. How the fuck did you get this old Tupperware? How the hell you bringing oatmeal to the dishwater? Ain't no suds left. And the oatmeal crusted over, right? You gotta scrub that shit to the main show in your forearm. I hate this bitch. <laughs> Whole time, right? You hate this bitch. I can't wait to call my cousin and tell him about it. You know what I mean? Oh, so it's not just me. Everybody ever got that silent treatment? You got a woman? You ever got you? Oh, you don't deal with that, right? Yeah, I'll shut the hoes down. You got that same mustache from the Mexican dude from Napoleon Dolomite. You ain't getting no pussy, man. No. He come up with me the pussy, he got that white chalk on his motherfucking mustache. He gotta explain that to his mama. <laughs> but I kissed her first, mama. It was love, baby. <laughs> Silent treatment is the best, right? You ain't gotta talk to a motherfucker? They think they met, they think they killing us. We happy, right? You walk right past your girl, pick up your Xbox controller. I ain't gotta say nothing here. <laughs> Then they frustrate you because they keep walking in and out the room. Bitch, I saw you the first time. I know you home. You're coming in picking up shit you don't need. 
<laughs> the fourth pen you picked up, they all out of ink? Come on now. You ain't even taking no classes, and you got a laptop. Don't, don't play with me. Don't you dare play with me. I be trying to be strong with that silent treatment, but then, you know, you want to you wanna get up on your lady at night, you know? It's hard to do that with the silent treatment, so brothers break down, so we just not gonna talk all day, huh? You gonna act like you don't know me. Fuck out of here. Still trying to put your dick on her butt? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the move. <laughs> you find that crease, that bit right between. <laughs> And lean on that left shoulder till she responds. She kicked that right leg up on you, you know you in there. I'm gonna rub it. And here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. I was raised for this shit. My mama, my mama trained me to live with a woman because living with my mama is frustrating, okay? Y'all talking about the cold. Cold bring back some bullshit memories for me. I just got the shovel in this bullshit. But we didn't have a real shovel. You know, you're supposed to have that shovel where you can push the snow. Not us. We had that one that looked like a spade that's really used for gardening. So you had to take the snow off the top first. You had to chisel through the ice. But I didn't have no real gloves. <laughs> I got some purple gloves she got from Walmart that she wore with her dress last night. Mama, come on. You're leaving me out to dry, ain't you? My mama did some bullshit, man. Holiday season is over. Everybody happy about the holidays? Woo! Happy they over, right? Yeah! Even your girlfriends is real happy, but then you realize Valentine's Day right around the corner. Like, God damn, I gotta come off another $48? <laughs> Do I send the flowers to the job or do I have this bullshit waiting at the crib? They gonna die tomorrow, it don't really matter. Flowers don't smell good anyway, do they? Yeah. This bitch don't take care of nothing. She don't even wash her own dishes. How the fuck I'm gonna expect to have her take care of some plants, right? Fuck the holidays, man. Yeah. Holidays was bad living with my mama. Halloween, anybody have a real costume? Yeah. I hate each and every one of you motherfuckers that made me. My costumes were some bullshit. Let me tell you what I used to go out in, okay? First of all, when you're from where I'm from, you don't get a full costume. You got two options. You either gonna get a mask and wear the shit you got for Christmas last year, or you gonna let your mama create some shit. My mama tried to dress me up as a man one year. I'm like, come on, this, that's not a costume. It's my future. Me in a flannel shirt, I had on her jeans, her shoes, and been sitting me out. I look like motherfucking left eye from TLC. I'm like, come on. I'm knocking on people's door talking about what about your friends? <laughs> that shit don't work, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Christmas ain't no better. You thought it was a Santa Claus till you find your mama drunk under the Christmas tree. Shit ain't even right. Come on, mama. And why does Barbie have a glass? What the fuck is going on? You done turned Barbie out. This is some bullshit. How's life going for everybody? My life's going swell. I got a corporate, I got a corporate job at Giant Eagle. At the customer service counter. But they call about me a lot, you know what I mean? They call about me all the time. You laugh when I say I work at Giant Eagle, but you learn a lot working at Giant Eagle. You learn about cultures. People return shit based on where they from. For example, white people. I'm not a racist dude, but I'm gonna tell you, y'all return shit just because y'all want to. Y'all know the rules work in y'all favor. Y'all don't want to hear no bullshit when y'all bring that back from the crib. No, my, I don't have a receipt. And I'm white, you're black. The manager's white, deal with it. And tell me no. I guarantee I'll call this on your ass. <laughs> Indians are cool too though, right? Because Indians, they know more than you know, even though it's your job. You think you know some shit, but they know how much groceries are really worth, okay? I know this cat is worth $2.99 a pound, that is all. And these motherfuckers always need a roll of quarters, right? Can I get a roll of quarters? Motherfucker, you ain't washed your jeans since two years ago. I still see curry on your fly, mother. What are you using the quarters for? They flipping corners to see who wear the shoes today. No, they just, just get another pair of shoes. You can afford it. You can. 
Asians frustrate me the most. Oh my mother. Asians? Have you ever had to wait on an Asian? These motherfuckers don't know what's going on when they walk in giant eagle. They bring some shit back and you be like, I don't even understand the concern. Ah, oh, the kale, it is worth, uh, it's two ninety nine dollars a pound. I'll be like, yeah, motherfucker, but you showing me a toothbrush. Like, I don't... <laughs> Are you saying you don't like the price? Are you bringing something back? What's going on? <laughs> They'll return anything, no matter what it's worth. I'm gonna fucking bring you back some shit that's 99 cents. Like, you could have just kept that, man. It ain't worth it. Is it me or are Asians either the best dressed or the worst dressed people on earth? Ain't no in between. Ain't no in between. It's Louis Vuitton or it's a Minnie Mouse sweater, polka dot corduroys, and some shoes with a bow tie. And they plastic. And I guarantee there's a hill on them that's clicking, okay? <laughs> you can hear an Asian from a mile away. <laughs> I got it here. I shouldn't talk shit though. Black people ain't no better. We like to return shit that we didn't even buy. <laughs> no, you did not get this TV from Giant Eagle. You don't even sell those. And it's a Toshiba. It's not even a 120 hertz. Get out of here. But we'll take some store credit, though. Right. Y'all give you store credit, but you never bought it in the first place. Is that one minute or two? Just Because we got to go over shit, you know. That's the Dave on coming out of them, right? You don't have no instructions when you go on stage. You just do your thing. I'm going to show you a cell phone, and we'll see where it goes from there, though. No? Well, all right, now. <laughs> I got one more, man. I got you. I got one more for Black History Month. Real shit. That's true story. Black History Month. Anybody excited? Yeah. Y'all don't give a fuck. Don't even bullshit. I ain't seen none of your Instagram pages where there ain't no pictures of Frederick Douglass on them all. I had a Black History moment for the ages the other day. Real shit, man. This country's come a long way. I was on the South Side. This is real shit. No. Got into an altercation, had a white dude come up and call me a quiet nigga. I was like, oh shit. Bullshit! Bullshit! But wait, but wait. Now you gotta understand, as a black man, we've been talking shit about when a white dude call you nigga to your face forever, okay? I've been talking about the combination I'ma throw since I was three, you understand? But I never let him fly. There's a reason for that. It's because I wasn't upset. <laughs> It wasn't the nigga that he was focused on, it was the quiet part, okay? It wasn't calling me a nigga. And, and when somebody call you a quiet nigga as a black man, you gotta understand, that's a compliment. I know a lot of niggas. Very few of them are quiet, you understand? Niggas will walk in anywhere and play anything on speakerphone, you know what I mean? Do not give a nigga an iPhone. You will hear cheap keys. Yeah. And it won't be edited. That shit I thought. It was weird though. This is real shit. Because when he called me a quiet nigga, I said, okay, so I'm quiet. But what type of nigga would I like to be? That's what I try to figure out, right? <laughs> quiet nigga is cool. That means you, you're trustworthy. You don't tell secrets, you know. But I don't have any skills. I want to be a crafty nigga. You know what I'm <laughs> You want to be a swab nigga, but you need two more muscles. You got the muscle shirt from the jacket, but you got the peaks. You gotta get your shit going. You need a husky nigga, right? Okay. I respect it. The nigga shit, though, the, the way to describe the nigga shit ain't new, right? Because Walt Disney started that. But he called them dwarves. Remember Snow White and Seven Dwarves? That wasn't nothing but a group of niggas. Everybody got a sleepy nigga. Well, we call him a lazy nigga. Everybody got a grumpy nigga, but we call him, you know, we call him a hater nigga. Doc was my favorite nigga. He's a handy nigga. You know that one nigga that can change your carburetor and fix your sink? <laughs> Where did you get the skills? You didn't go to trade school. Moral of the story, people, for Black History Month, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. White people, if you ever wanna call a man a nigga, just put a flattering adjective in front of you. We'll never know the difference. 
But wait, throw him a curveball. Don't give him an easy adjective like happy nigga. Call him an exceptional nigga. He don't know what to think. <laughs> am I exceptional by nigga standards or am I exceptional, period? <laughs> hey, when I leave, call me a funny nigga. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>